Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Camping with the Chadwicks. Today, I'm going to be going over how I hook up and make sure everything's ready for the connection between your hitch and your kingpin here. Um, we're also going to go over how we do a, what's called a tug test. So it's basically just wanting to make sure that you have a good connection between the kingpin underneath here and your hitch. And one thing you do want to watch out for is a high connection or a low. Most of these hitches, the newer ones, won't allow you to do that. Um, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about go over the whole process of how we back up. Now before we start doing this, I've got all the slides in already. I've got the rear stabilizing jacks already up. Um, everything's ready to go for this connection. Um, so make sure you, you get everything kind of tidied up first. This is one of the last things that we do um, before we hit the route. So hope you enjoy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come up to your hitch here. Make sure that your locking arm is open. The, the, the jaws inside there, you want to make sure they're open. See, that's in the closed position. You want to make sure they're open to receive the kingpin. Now, when you go to back up, that kingpin is going to hit the back plate, and that's what's going to automatically lock these jaws. So, we're going to go over that with you, but first things first, you want to make sure that your arm is open, because if it's not, you're not going to have a connection whatsoever, and it's going to be bad. So. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is, once you're, you're still pretty much level on your RV, but you're going to want to come over to your electro electronic leveling system. Um, we have the Lippert component. You're going to want to raise your fifth wheel up and keep an eye on the front nose of the your kingpin and the hitch in the bed of your truck. So you're going to want to raise your, your fifth wheel up. And, and just for now, you just want to get like a rough idea of where that's going to land at. You can always come in and, and lower it or raise it more if you have to. This is not a one-step process, so. But for now, you just want to get it high enough to where you think you're going to be pretty close. And I'll tell you another thing. Uh, the biggest thing that I would tell you before hitching up is make sure your tailgate is down. You can <laughs> believe how many times this happens. It almost happened to me unhooking. I for, almost forgot to bring my tailgate down. That wouldn't be good. So basically, you're going to want to get this in and raise up a little bit. And when you come in for the connection, I'll show you in just a second, you're going to want to basically hit this lower ramp right here with this portion of the kingpin. See how it's kind of tethered up? That upward connection is where you're going to want to hit, and we'll show you that in just a second. back again so this is what i was talking about you're going to want this plate to be and i've got to lower it well i don't need to it's it's good enough right there where it's at but i could lower it another pinch if i wanted to um, but that is what you're going to want to, to make sure that you have a good solid connection um, and then also you're going to want to walk around the back here and make sure that you're you're lined up you know that's a, that's a big portion too, but this looks like we're going to have a pretty good connection here and I'm not going to drop it at all. So that is a connection and that was a pretty good one. So first thing when you get out of the truck, I always recommend make sure that this arm, this lock arm, is in the closed position. You can't push it back any further. And every hitch is going to be a little different. So this is just my B&W Companion slider hitch. Make sure you put this safety pin in the correct spot and make sure that you get a lock. A lot of people will actually get a little bitty master lock to put in here so people don't mess with it while you're in the grocery store or whatever. I don't have that just yet, but probably not a bad idea. Then you're going to walk back and just double check that you don't have a high hitch or anything of that nature because you want to make sure that bottom is connected just like that okay you don't want a high high connection or a low connection that would not be good so from that point we're going to walk back over here to your leveler and put it in the retract position so that's going to retract these front wheels and you're going to see 
the weight be redistributed. And I hear some uh, some creaks and you know things like that, especially if you've been in one spot for three weeks like we have. <laughs> All right, so once you get to that, now it's time for the tug test. Now, I only raise my feet about one to two inches, give or take. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can do what you want or whatever you feel comfortable with, but don't raise them too far because if something happens, you want those feet to be close enough to the ground that the fifth wheel is not going to land on your truck. That would be not good. So we're going to do that now. And remove your <laughs> Got all that out of the way. And what I like to do is I like to do this tug test before I even hook up my seven pin for all my lights or my uh, breakaway cable or any of that. So we're going to go ahead and do the tug test now. And again, guys, that is just, the tug test is going to be just literally a couple inches slam on the brake. So we're going to do that now. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Oh, power cord. I knew it. Don't <laughs> want to forget that. We have to for power, shore power right out of the side of your camper. I'd have something else to fix if I could go for us. Power is always the last thing that we take out. Power. Yeah. It just water. helps. It helps not have to lean on the battery as much for us on our unit. So, okay, I'm get this all rolled up nice and tidy, like. Off to the tug test. Off to the tug test. Here we go. Tug around. <laughs> So now you get to get all crunched up under here like so. Once you know you're connected, obviously. And this is when we're going to go ahead and, and connect our 7-pin. This is going to be for our lights. And before you take off, you're going to want to have your significant other help you out a little bit. Go back there and check all the lights. But make sure you get that connected. And also, you want to get your breakaway cable here. So this is worst case scenario, God forbid this never happens, but if you do come disconnected from your truck and your trailer, this is gonna snatch right here and it is gonna lock up your trailer brakes so you don't have what they call a runaway trailer. That wouldn't be good, nobody wants that. So make sure you dot your T's and cross your eyes. What? <laughs> 